Well, hello folks, Tony Howard here with Astrology University, and I am here to tell you about our upcoming summit, Astrology, Life, Purpose, and Destiny, uh, which will be held at Astrology University on October 27th and 28th, 2018. And to learn how to sign up, it's actually free to sign up, and it's free to watch the summit live during the weekend. Uh, just head over to astrologyuniversity.com and scroll down the homepage. You'll find uh, some info there about the summit. You'll be able to click to register. So to tell you a little bit more about the summit, I have one of our amazing speakers, Darby Costello, with me today. Hey, Darby. Hi, Tony. <laughs> thanks, thanks for joining me. And um, Darby's going to tell us a little bit about uh, her talk. And um, Darby, could you tell folks a little bit about what you're going to be presenting at the summit? Okay. I'm still in the process of um, exploring it. Uh, when you offered it, the possibility, I got really interested because I'm quite fascinated about what, what, what is destiny and, and how much does it have to do with, and what is free will and how they dance with each other. And I spent in the last, about 20 years ago, I got interested in what it, how do we navigate, you know, how do we, um, how do we navigate that which is given, which is, which the, the, like so many things we're born into, the background we have, the cultural references. And then there's the chart, which describes, I say, the energy field into which we are born and how much i'm fascinated with how much can we develop this what i call muscle of free will and so what i'm going to be doing is looking at various people throughout history because i'm always in other centuries and just seeing is there a way of seeing were they following that which was given or did they use their will to explore the possibilities within which that which was given. So I'm just playing, I guess, with it. And I'm not coming to a final answer, as far as I know. You never know. But I'm exploring people who seem to have a very powerful destiny when you look back. And I'm trying to see, I'm trying to see how so when I'm when I see my clients, I'm always working with what is given and how they can navigate it to get the best possible life out of that which is given. So I guess what is given, necessity, has something to do with destiny. And then there's this mysterious thing we call free will. Beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I, these, these big questions are big. <laughs> so, Absolutely. Yeah. So it's, it's really wonderful to have a whole summit where everyone's kind of approaching them in a different way. And uh, when I sent out the, the call to the speakers, I really just left it open. I, I didn't ask any of my speakers to um, talk about a, a specific, to take a specific angle. And what was really beautiful is every single one of you chose a different angle and a different way of approaching them. And it It'll just all, so, yes. and it just all came together. So, um, and I, I love the angle that you picked because it's, uh, it's one of the, you know, the big picture angles that's really rich and and wonderful to talk about. So, um, I'm really looking forward to see what you have, what you come up with for us, and what you share. And mm -hmm. for the folks who um, don't know Darby, you can check out her work at uh, darbycostello.co.uk. Um, you can learn more about her on her website. You can also Google one of her many um, awesome books uh, on Amazon, um, including The Astrological Moon, which has uh, got some really wonderful information about the progressed moon, among other things. So check that out. But Darby, for folks who haven't met you before, um, could you tell folks a little bit about your approach to astrology? Um, how do I ever describe it? Um, I, you know, I mean, I, I'm classed as a psychological astrologer because I work with the inner world and how you navigate the inner and the outer world. And I think the word navigate a couple, it must've been about 20 years ago. I've been in London 35 years now. And I came from Africa before that and America before that. And I think, I don't know, about 20 years, 25 years ago, somebody said about navigating and I'd gone across deserts in Africa. And of course I've gone across seas and I realized that's what they were doing. They were, they were very early on navigating by the stars. And when astrologers started to look at the patterns, they started helping kings navigate by the stars. You know? And so I say people come to me and they give me things that they want to deal with, that they're having to deal with. 
And I try and use, that's what I say, I try and help them navigate the inner world or the outer world or both, depending on who they are, by the stars. So I say I'm a navigator now. So when people say, and uh, you're an astrologer, what do you do? I say, I help people navigate by the stars. And so when I, so much in my life, people have said, what do you mean you do astrology, you know? But now nobody hassles me because I've got, they can't say anything. So I'll be at a party and someone will say, astrology? You're an astrologer? And I'll say, yes. And they say, what do you do? And I say, I help people navigate by the stars. And they say, oh, oh, hmm, well, huh, yes. And then we talk about something else. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> took me, it only took me about 45 years to find the right sentence, you know? <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. That's so um, great. Well, it's a great sentence. And, um, yeah. and folks, you're in for a treat with Darby's talk. So definitely tune in. And Darby will be presenting her talk. She'll be opening up Sunday morning. So she'll be in, in the United States anyway. She'll be joining us at 9 a.m. Pacific time, which if you're tuning in from the UK will be 5 p.m. your time, I believe. But definitely check out the Time um, Zone Converter app online if you mm -hmm. aren't sure or if you live in another location. Uh, mm -hmm. For instance, in Australia, I don't think you can catch that one. It'll be the middle of the night the next day. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Um, but we do, if you are in Australia, we do have some uh, lectures that you can attend. So all of our lectures that start at 3 p.m. Pacific time, you can catch um, those. So basically the last three lectures of each day will be at 9 a.m., uh, 11 a.m., and 1 p.m. in Australia. So we have a little something for everybody. And then it's the inverse in Europe and the U.K. where you can catch the first three. So um, definitely spaced out the time zones on purpose there so that we could reach as many people as possible with a little something. Um, the summit, like I said, is free to watch live. So on October 27th and 28th, you can tune in to watch uh, at no charge. Um, and the way that works is, is when each lecture is broadcast, it'll be available to watch live, of course, and then right after we'll upload the recording and you'll be able to watch the recording for another 24 hours. And so uh, each lecture will be available for 24 hours. And so for a total of 48 hours, you can watch this amazing summit uh, at no charge. If you can't tune in or you're going to miss one of your favorite lecturers for some reason, um, we also have something called the all access pass, which gives you access to download the recordings and keep for as long as you want and to watch it anytime. So, uh, don't feel like you're going to miss your favorite speaker. If you have something else planned for the weekend, we have an option for you to get the recording as well. So um, definitely check that out on the site. And with that, uh, I'll just say thank you so much, Darby, for joining me. Pleasure. Pleasure. And, and I, look I look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Yeah, I do the too. 20, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 28th. Uh, 28th. October, yeah, yeah. October 28th. Yeah. So um, we'll see, see all of you soon. Uh, and th thanks again and take care. Okay.